What day is it? It's day five. Where'd five. we have breakfast this morning? My house. <laughs> <laughs> Shay Mama Taylor. Thank you, Mama okay. Taylor, for breakfast. You're All right. Welcome. Auburn Tigers, here we come. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Home Alabama. I don't know if we can sing that on the way to Auburn, though. That is Sweet that's Home Auburn Tigers. Here we go. Checking in with their head coach, Gus Malzahn. Uh, coach, now that we've, how many days in camp are we at now? Eight. 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 Yeah. How are you feeling about your team? What do you like about this team? I, I like our uh, our attitude. I like our energy. Uh, usually, this is the midpoint of camp. You have some bad days. We haven't had any bad days. And so that's really a good sign for our leadership. And we got some young guys that feel like can really play, so I'm really excited. I think one of the things that stood out to me is everybody knows you're going to be good up front on defense, but they are joyful and, and they are getting after each other at practice. I was actually watching, and for, at one point I thought that was the first team defense. It was the second team. I was like, they're loaded. Well, we, we do have some depth up front. We got some really good players up front that have experience. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good to have that. And it's great for your offensive line, too. You know, our <laughs> offensive go. line's got to grow up in a hurry going against a group like that. But there's been great competition so far. Bringing up the offensive line, you got a lot of new faces. Still trying to settle in some guys at positions, but what do you see when you're starting to work in these seven on seven or, or these yeah. periods where you're seeing them? Well, Coach Grimes, our offensive line coach, is a great teacher, and uh, he's really bringing those guys along. You can see progress each day. You know, it's just to a point that we need to really put the pieces of the puzzle together as soon as we can because the offensive line, it's all about working together. You know, you got to know what the guy beside you is doing. So we're getting really close to that. We're not there, but hopefully after our next scrimmage, we can get that done. We know that there's some pieces on the offense like Jared and Ryan Davis that we've all become accustomed to, and they're kind of like leaders now to us. How have you seen them take the next step, or, or what is their evolution? Like? Yeah, we've been talking about our leaders being multipliers. Yeah. The multipliers affect everybody else. And those two right there on offense, and, and uh, you know, Mark Wallhero up front, he's one of those guys. Chandler Cox is another guy. So those are the multipliers on offense, and they're really setting the tone for everybody else. And, you know, the, the rest of the offense is following that group. Okay, ring the bell. That's yeah. how Holly yeah. broke down the team uh, practice, so we need to know what ring the bell means. Well, ring the bell is like a, a personal best in the weight room. Okay. All right, anytime they've set a PR, they ring the bell. So we need, as coaches, as players, as managers, as trainers, 
everybody be that much better. You know, really, we were a quarter away yeah. from, from, from winning the SEC championship, but we got to figure out a way to take that next step. And that really, that's what we're going to All right, you start over, though, with a really hard game right out of the gate. So I think the opening weekend, that's I think the it's game. the game. I know. He wants to be there. We're actually a little jealous. <laughs> right, so how, how prepared are you yet on Washington? I mean, it's day in yeah. camp, but where are you at on Washington? Well, we've big pictured Washington. Uh, we will start where what, 21 days away. So we'll start focusing more and more on them every day from here on out. They're a great team. Uh, they may be the most complete team we play all year. They're, they're very good on defense, very good on offense. Their coach is one of the, the better, like, you know, schemers and trick plays. you got to be ready for everything with him. So uh, it, it's going to be a big test. And, and we'll figure out, you know, really where we're at after that game. Hey, do we still call it the Gus Bus or are we done with that? Something <laughs> are we on the Gus Bus? We, I'm on the Gus Bus. I've yeah. always been on the Gus okay. Bus. I'm okay with that. All right. He's okay. He's okay with it. Gus Bus on here with the Auburn Tigers. Look out for week one. Auburn and Washington, one of the best games of the season. day five of the Taylor Road Trip and we are wrapping things up here at Auburn and we are here with running back Cam Martin. Yes. Maria, break it down. All right, Cam. Uh, we first want to know what you've been doing in the off season to get you to the level that you would like to be at when this first game kicks off this season. Um, I've just been putting in a lot of work, um, a lot of extra work. Like when I go home, I uh, train with a lot of NFL guys. Ooh, like who? What NFL guys? Yeah. Uh, like so this off season, I'm, I'm going to train with Earl Thomas. I'm going to train with Jamal Charles. Uh, a few guys like that. What did you learn from them? Uh, they were just teaching me the game, you know, uh, especially Jamal. He just told me, like, be patient on some of the runs. And, like, uh, I was just asking him a lot of stuff about, like, running back. So, you know, one of the things that's interesting, th there's this stat that Aub Auburn has rushed for, thousand, had a thousand yard rusher for oh, yeah. nine straight years. You're going to hear that all year long. Yeah. But you have a brand spanking new offensive line, one returning starter. So how patient are you going to have to be and you guys kind of working together to hit that goal? Um, I feel like them guys been working hard all summer. You know, they've been putting in the, uh, the grind, same amount of grind I have been putting in. You know, we used to come in after some workouts. We all used to put in extra work. So I believe in those guys. You know, I, I feel like um, everything's going to happen. And um, like that thousand yard deal, that just going to happen. That's just facts, you know. It's just fact that comes facts, with offense. Facts, facts, facts. Okay, we heard that your new saying, the way that you guys break down yeah. uh, the end of the team practices yeah. is ring the bell. So we're trying to understand what that means. We, we have no clue. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. So like every day, like we trying to PR, like we trying to get better. So like, personal record. Yeah, gotcha. personal record. So we, you know, every time we come out here, we trying to give it our best. So that, that's why we. Uh, what were you good at today in practice? What did you do to be personally best today? Um, I say giving more, a lot of energy, encouraging uh, the guys when things like when things get rough, like when we get fatigued and stuff, and like me just working on being more patient because I'm a speed back. I like to like just run fast sometimes, but like I feel like just my uh, patience has been a uh, great help. All right, patient, patient, thousand yard facts. Yeah, I would also like to give him credit for this great hair. This oh, yeah, <laughs> she just touched his hair. I did. Awkward, oh, yeah. it's great. It's great. <laughs> thank you, thank you, guys. Thanks, All right, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you, Cam. Back here at the Taylor Road trip, we are with the Auburn defensive line, whom every quarterback should probably be afraid of this season Maria Taylor, Holly Rowe, Marlon Davidson, Big Three, you heard? Dantavius Russell, Derek Brown. No nicknames. Oh, are we sure I'm going to plug? Yeah, plug or plug. Plug or plug? I like that. Oh, Derek Brown. Derek Brown. Okay, so you haven't stopped talking the whole practice. You're out there running drills. Whoever's in front of you running drills, you are go, go, go. And where is this energy in this? You got some personality coming from. Oh, well, with me, man, it just, you know, when, when we dominate the day, you know, like, we all about domination up front. And, you know, that's what we do all the time when we get out to people. And once we get out to people, we have fun doing it. So, what's, you. what's the most impressive thing about this defensive line? You've been getting a lot of accolades in the awesome. People want to talk about you guys, so I'm going to let you express what makes you um, I think a lot of things that separates us as defense line is most of us can run, you know. And we big, like we big, you know. But we <laughs> you can, are big. Yeah, but we can run, so I think that's what gives us a little bit of advantage over a lot also of think, I, I also think that we like playing with each other. So, I mean, we're able to work and have fun. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that's a big factor in getting the job done. You guys remind me a lot of, don't get mad here, but the, the Clemson defensive front, they all four came back. They have this vibe that you can feel. They're getting a lot of preseason attention. So do, uh, is that vibe important and that feeling important moving forward? Yeah, kind of going back to what Darius said, we all get along, you know, so it's kind of, um, it kind of, we can count on each other. And, you know, and that's another reason why I came back, is to have the guys on our defensive line, I think they're doing the same thing for me. So. 
Okay, I know every defensive lineman has their own move that they like to do. So, could you just demo whatever your favorite move is, your best move? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so well, it's just, <laughs> it just, just to have fun. I don't know, we just... Whatever comes, it comes. Yes, man. So I just, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, His move is this. <laughs> <laughs> just have fun, man. All right. All right, cool. Thank you. Can't wait to see you guys play this season. Yes. So good. Thank you, guys. All right, so the sound of the bell basically is a sign that uh, the team just got better. It's for when guys come and uh, hit their personal record, uh, bench, squat, power clean, whatever it is, they come and ring the bell. The good thing about the academic centers above us, mm -hmm. and they hear, you'll see guys getting fired up just because they know that's the sound of the, the sign of the team getting better. So that's what it is, the performance bell, PR bell, um, whether it's 40, whatever it is. but. Uh, that's, that's, that's all so I'm wait, on. does Holly get to ring the bell? Holly also absolutely gets to ring the bell. She has no choice but to ring the bell. She can't come in here without ringing the this bell. This is Ooh. the biggest bell I've ever seen, like up close like this. Like Where, where'd there. you get this bell? Uh, somebody, they actually made that in town, I believe. Some welders came and made it. We had a little bell at Arkansas State, but now, you know, came here. And it's, it's, uh, Coach it's Russell going to big, go big, go home. So. The bell has grown with the program. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so any tips to get no, after just, this? Just ring the heck out of it. I'm, I am a little nervous. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Taylor Wait, Rook. Wait, I want you to oh. slide your hand up a little bit that way. Right there. Here? There you go. Oh, oh. You better, come on. Tips. Okay, Taylor Road Trip. We're ringing the bell. Oh, I didn't do it right. <laughs> wait, wait, what just happened? What just happened? All right, hold on. Right there. Hold it by right, right here. here? Oh, because it it's got to swing. Okay. There you go. Pull it all the way through. So ringing the bell is not as easy as it would seem. No. Take two. Take two. Okay. Taylor Road Trip. We're ringing the bell today. <laughs> Tradition when I run out of the tunnel, um, before I run out of the tunnel, like while I was in the locker room, she always had the same little picture where she is, so I could put eyes on her before I like, play. They asked her, I'm like, how y'all even know about all these? So that was kind of interesting. Like, like, they actually want to know about me, like, first of all, like, also like, outside of the Sean Davis on the football. Like, so I'm like, Why do you like to put your eyes on your mom before you play? How does that help you? I mean, it just. Cause I play with a lot of energy. I play with a lot of passion, and I know why, like the reason I play football. She's a, a big part of it. So like, when I make a play, sometimes I come to the sideline, even while I'm on the field, you know, I look at her. You know, we make eye contact. Cause I know no matter where I am, I can always hear my mom's voice. And they sit behind the bench. It's like when I miss a tackle or I make a bad play, I'm walking down the sideline, and she's screaming at me and trying to give me a look at her. I'm, it's like a wall right here. I don't even want to look at it because I know she's going to yell at me. But anytime, like, so I sometimes make a it's good yelling and sometimes it's bad yeah, yelling. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's constructive criticism. But I like it because, you know, that's my mom. Yeah. And this is my my passion. This is my drive. So for the, the love, like, knowing the love that I have for her, seeing how she puts so much effort in knowing the game of football and knowing my assignment, knowing what I have to do. When I mess up, she wants me to be perfect. You know, when I do good, she want, she's happy for me, but she's like, you can do it even better. So you know, that's a, a good thing for me, like, like I said, like just knowing the love that I have for her and what she's been putting behind my crap and all that. Why don't you look at the camera and do a thank you to mom? Yes. Thank you, mom. <laughs> thank you for, you know, being there for me. You know, buying into what I do for my craft and just always having my back, being my number one fan. I really appreciate that about you. So your your family life is changing a little bit. So you just got engaged. Yeah, a little bit. So how do you? I mean, how do you manage that in the season? Is she here? Like, is she helping you through all this? Because there's a lot more eyes on you, even more so this year. Right. No. It's uh, so obviously we're doing the distance thing, right? And she's an athlete as well. So she's playing soccer this fall. And so, like so the, the question is, how should you help her through this season? Then? <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, and, and it's crazy because you know I have aspirations to play after college, 
and she doesn't have any aspirations to play after college. And this, so this is like her last go around. And we've been talking about that a lot lately. Just having to just pour into your team, pour into your coaches, because you know, hearing you know, whenever they get done, four months or whatever it is, she just she never gets to play soccer again. Uh, so I've been trying to help her out with that. Um, and you know, we, you know, when we, I know our situations are completely different, but. You know, a team sport is a team sport, and there's little, little things that are kind of similar in, in some different ways. And so, you know, we're able to relate a little bit that kind of, you know, in that kind of way. And uh, so I've been, been helping her out. She's been helping me out. And I mean, we're each other's number one fans by far. So, uh, you know, we're just trying to uh, support each other and you know, see how we're going. So the real question is, how did you pop the question? Oh, good. I'm and, glad. I want to hear the like, whole story and there, why the meaning behind it. So I'd actually had it planned for like two, two months, I guess. We got off in May, you know, for a little break before summer workouts, and that's when I went down to Houston and asked her dad for his blessing and all that, and she had no idea. And then I kind of got the ball rolling a little bit. I called her friends and you know made sure her, her sisters knew and everything. And I mean, it was kind of like the elephant in the room. Everybody knew it was coming, just nobody knew exactly when. And so we did. You know, yeah, 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 all these guys did definitely. Um, so I had set it up, uh, I guess, the weekend after the Fourth of July, and uh, my family. We have a lake house in Texas, and so I told her I was like, "Hey, let's uh, let's go to the lake. You know, this weekend. Um, you know, it'll be. It was her last. Her, yeah, her last weekend of summer before s soccer got going and that kind of thing. I was like, let's just hang out the weekend or at the lake that weekend, have a good time." Uh, I was like, right, we're going to have a bunch of uh, family and friends there, you know, people that are friends with my family, I guess. Uh, and so she was kind of, she expected a lot of people to be there. So it wasn't kind of a surprise, but uh, I told her, hey, I'm going to take you to dinner around 8 o'clock. So come in, meet me in, you know, I'll fly in, I'll drive there. Let's meet at like 7 at the lake house, get ready, and then go eat at 8, right? So I had her occupied from like seven to eight, and in that time I had her whole family and like seven of her very best friends show up. I had two friends fly in with me, and then I had three three of my best friends from Texas come in. My whole family was there, and they all showed up during that like hour time frame. And so she had no idea, because she's just in the bathroom getting ready, you know. And then before we went to dinner, she said, hey, let's go take a picture. And I was like, this is perfect, because on the back patio, I had it all set up, you know, with the rose petals and all this different stuff. Um, and she, she had no idea. And so we walked out to the back patio, and she's like, no, no, stop, stop. This is not happening. And I said, just get over here. And I had the ring placed over there as well, and uh, went over there. Popped down on a knee. I blacked out. I have no idea what I said to her. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I said to her. Pee you down your leg. Yeah, right. basically. Yeah. Um, but so that happened. We took some pictures, and then her whole friends and family came rushing out. My friends and family came rushing out. She was completely caught off guard. We all just kicked it at the lake all weekend and just had a good time. So. When did she want it to happen? Was she like, no, this is not happening now? Did she have some other plan? Or no, I, I, I think she was just completely caught off guard. Because I, cause like, I, I have a really hard time keeping anything from her, which I think is a For good Ryan thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so, you know, she, she thinks she always knows every little thing so about you me. Pulled it off, so I pulled it off, and she thought I probably couldn't pull it off. Good so, job. That's the best job. It worked. It worked that might be I'm, the just, best I'm just getting out of <laughs> You right. are? Okay. Right. It may not happen for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So when you go to the NFL, they'll be like, so can you tell us about this play? You'll be like, let me tell you about the hardest thing I ever engineered. <laughs> I made it work though. Lots okay. of moving parts. Right. I learned that for sure. <laughs> That's good. Can we take a slight shift of football? Shift, shift. Fine. Go. I guess football. we'll talk about football. <laughs> I guess. Um, and we can talk, start with you because you're coming into a season. It's like, okay, been through a whole year, regular season. How do things feel differently maybe coming into this year? Uh, I think for me, last year, I, I think he could probably hit on this a little bit too, is like, quarterback, you're kind of coming into a new team, new situation, you have to kind of get your feet wet to, you know, learn, get, gain everybody's trust and that sort of thing, and the coaches, players, trust, everything, because I'm, I'm sure they were skeptical about me coming in at first, because, you know, there was some hype around some other guys previous, you know, in the previous years, 
Um, it just didn't pan out the right way or whatever. But uh, so I, you know, I figured that was kind of kind of there on the surface. But um, now that you know, I think you know, I played decently well through through a full year and. Uh, got Decently some well, led the SEC in completion percentage. Slip that in there. Like sixth in the nation yeah. or something. So right. decently, yeah. decently well. Decently yeah. well. <laughs> um, you know, got a bunch of experience. And I think, like this year, you know, I feel more of that leadership role. And I mean, I think him and I are, are definitely the two leaders of the team. And, you know, I think everybody, you know, feeds off of me offensively. And I think everybody feeds off of him defensively. Oh, so. yeah, uh, that's what I was going to Yes, I love that we're here. Yes. We're here. Because I wanted to ask, like, coming in, what what were the questions About that you kind of got your eye on the side, like, wait, what's happening? Who's and then guy? how did he change that <laughs> feeling? Yeah, I, I say the thing that he did well, and I feel like really the team made the team buy into him was he was himself. You know, he didn't try to come in and say you know, the quarterback has to be a leader or rah, 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 you know, be all vocal and everything. He was like, when I have to do my job, I have to do my job. You know, when the team needs someone to step up and say something, you know, I'm that guy. You know, this this is what I can do. This is Jerry Still. And of course, you know, we had a lot of questions because like he said before, previously it was this quarterback's gonna be the hero. This quarterback's gonna be the hero. Okay, we got this Juco guy, now we got this transfer, it's like on and on and on and it's like can we even trust this guy is gonna, you know, take the keys and drive the car. But you know, he when he came in he was always early, early to meet. You know, he stayed late and receiver, let's throw rocks. And, uh, even, even when he came to film, you walk upstairs, you see him in the film, he's watching film. And you could, you could tell he wanted to be the leader of the team. He wanted to take over, but it wasn't, hey guys, I'm here, we're going to do it this way, this way, this way. It was like, how do you guys do things? Okay, yeah, I like that, I like that, okay, I can do this. Well, I think we can do this, you know, we can change this round. And, so it was like we bought into him, but he bought into us also. And when, you know, coach, now I'm starting quarterback, it was like, we know he's going to be the guy. Let's rally behind him on offense, defense. Let's get him the ball. Let's let him make plays. And, and we got to where we were. How does it feel to hear him, like, talking about the way that you became a leader on this team? Yeah, no, I think, I mean, obviously, that's what I came here to do. You know, I came here to be to be a leader of the team and, and to, uh, you know, be myself because I don't, I don't try to, you know, be somebody that other people want me to be. I don't, I don't care who you are. I'm going to be myself regardless of the situation, and that's just always, you know, that's how I've been raised. And um, I think, you know, over time, the the guys on the team make it so easy because we don't have a lot of uh, issues off of the field here. I mean, everybody is such a good person, and so when you have when you surround yourself with good people. Kind of makes situations a whole lot easier, and uh, you know, whenever adver adversity hits, you're able to overcome it a lot, a lot easier. You know, with each other. So it was, uh, it was a pretty, pretty easy transition for the most part. Can we just last thing get into, and then we're gonna let you get off to your family. Yeah. But um, Washington. So we think, and I think a lot of people like this game has so much potential to either kind of get you guys off on the right foot mm -hmm. or get Washington off on the right foot. How much do you know about them, and how seriously are you taking it? I think, uh, well, I'm personally, I'm super excited about about the game. Um, you know, I got the opportunity to meet Jake uh, Jake Browning, you know, this summer. Super good dude. Um, so I'm I'm rooting for him just because I really I really like him now. Uh, maybe I, I may not root for him game one. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I got you. I got you. I was gonna try to clear it up. Uh, you know, I got, got a little him, got so. a little look right there. <laughs> no, maybe boy. maybe not week one, but I, I'm rooting for the guy. Um, but they're, they're a great football team, great, you know, led by a great coach. Um, you know, I've watched a lot of a lot of film on them already, and their defense is a lot like ours. Where did you meet him? Uh, at the uh, Manning Manning camp. Passing. Okay, Manning cool. Camp, so. You guys get a bond as quarterbacks. Though. That's I always yeah. feel jealous. Like I just want to be a fly on the wall. Like. Oh, it's so cool. I mean, just to be able to, uh, you know, watch these guys on TV, and like I know some some guys like Drew Locke is one of my really really good friends, and so I've known him for years, but. Guys like Trace McSorley, Mackenzie Milton, uh, Jake Browning, Alex Morningbrook at Wisconsin. I, mean, I watch these guys on TV, and then I'm like, eh, I wonder what kind of person they are. And then you get around them for you know three or four days, and they're like, okay, this is a dude I would hang out with every day if I could. So it's uh, it, it definitely kind of opens up a, a quarterback bonding. Yeah, the defense doesn't feel so warm and fuzzy about that yeah, team. Not, not at all. But I mean, um, like you was just saying, I mean, Washington's a really good team. 
you know, they had a, a great season last year. They have a lot of players coming back um, off the side of the ball. They lost a lot of talent also. But, um, you know, just from watching film, you know, he says Jay Brown, Jay Brown's a good person, but he's probably a better football player. You know, he's, he's really talented. You know, um, and I think he makes a lot of plays with his legs. You know, he has a long run ball all over the field. You can't sleep on my house, guys. You know, he's a thousand yard rusher for three years in the and I don't care. Thank you. What, I appreciate that. I don't that. care. You know, I think what people sleep on you him. Play yes. In, it's hard to rush for a thousand yards three years in a row in college football. SEC, Pac-12, I mean, Big Ten, anything, it's hard to do that. So the guy has some, has to have some time. But they use their tight ends really well. The offensive coordinators, Google, I think. He finds ways to, to get his play match the ball. And, I mean, we, we've been watching those guys already. I know, I know they're talented. You know, they're looking forward to the game. And we're also looking forward to it because to us, it's a playoff game already. And just knowing the, the college football playoffs, how the bracket is set up and everything, the best four teams, I want to get in, and for us or for them, whoever comes out on top, it's a definite, you know, it's a it's an edge to say we be the top contender team in the season. And you know, we feel like we're gonna have a good season. They feel like they're gonna do the same. So whoever we'll wins that game is gonna have bragging rights. So hopefully, we'll do that too. All right, thank you very much. You guys are great. Thanks for seeing us. I feel like the Auburn team is in really good hands. With I feel good about, I feel like you are in a good offense. I like this vibe. I like this vibe. Yeah. <laughs> They're just doing Great their best. Great season. I hope we get to see you down the road. Yes, yes, Thank you. Yes. What's up? Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> that, that is the welcome committee. What's welcome happening? Welcome committee. Good. How are you doing? doing great. great. See you. Long great time to see you. Where's your, uh, oh, hold on. Where's your accoutrement? Oh, accoutre <laughs> Stop it! No! Oh my God! C That's come in! Really cool. Come in! No, no, you gotta film this. Walk in, even though it'll it'll like change. Walk in, walk in, okay. okay. This is when you know. <laughs> Hi! We're in here. Hello. Jordan Hare says hello. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's that is good. Yeah. That is so good. That's pretty awesome. So this is the, the Harbor Family Recruiting Center. Gorgeous. And I'm learning all about this myself. So what you see up here oh. is, this is called the... Um, this is the Tiger Den. No, oh. but the chandelier. It's the is rolling tumor. The rolling tumor. Oh, yes. yeah. That's such a good idea. So the LED simulates the um, free roll. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Rolling chandelier. That is That's awesome. So at night time, I mean, it's, it's a beacon. The recruits, come on in. That's right. We already won. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we already won. Yeah. We're going to have to get a picture right here. Yeah. Because we'll forget you, Matt. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Oh, Thank you got you. trade <laughs> pictures. We do. We do. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Right. We never see our name hopefully in life. That, that was so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, right? I don't think you've seen this, have you? Right? Okay, give us a walkthrough of kind of the, the style that you were going for and how many people can be fit in this room. So we're looking at around uh, anywhere from 175 to 200 you know, potential student athletes here. Uh, but, you know, we wanted to feature, of course, our Heisman Trophy since we have three. Right, right. Uh, they're missing now because of security reasons, right. but uh, we will have them soon, uh, followed by all the NFL display, so we'll loop our current guys on that TV, and then there's just a place for recruits to, to come and hang out during the game. What do you think? Would they? Would this be a good recruiting staff? Definitely, especially <laughs> with the, the, all these TV televisions, and everybody got somewhere to see and sit, and it's a big space, a lot much bigger space than what we had before, so. So we feel a lot more people in there, beverages, of course, and all the way Yeah, y'all come back so. and check this. Yeah, yeah. Back. I, I am very impressed. Can I show this, though? I'm very impressed. Yeah. Projector the window shades. <laughs> window shades even have yeah. a projector screen. Like, these are curtains. Yes, that's right. And, and, and little details here. So, when everybody wants to charge their phone, everybody gets a charge. 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 Because that's the most important part. Everybody, everybody Look, like, these are for real the, the window shades. There's the windows. And now there's a projection on it. 
That's the, that is, we need that in the house. We do. Put that on the Put list. Put that on the list. Yep. We're going to Home Goods. Yep, Home Goods. Yeah. Home goods. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the most important thing uh, would be that all of these chargers. Look how many chargers are in the recording area. Yeah, so this is our Instagrammable moment. Mm -hmm. So, Alan, yeah. I feel like it's, it's happening Instagram this All right, come on. We need an yeah. Instagram. Let's Instagram. Instagram. You get in here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Instagram this moment? is an Instagrammable moment. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're, 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 we're just Oh, it's a smile. Oh, okay, okay. All right, one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Perfect. That's perfect for Instagram. Yeah. Instagrammable moment. <laughs> we got it. We're not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> War damn eagle. Wow. And I like their recycling. <laughs> from the fight song. Right. You see the war eagle, and then you'll see things from the home. Love it. So that just, what I've learned coming here is we live by all those things. Right. And that's what makes Auburn so special is the people really believe in Auburn and they love it. And that is also the last line of the Auburn Creed. The essence, the essence is real. <laughs> the essence is real. So this is the leading receiver for the Auburn Tigers last year, Brian Davis. What's up? How you you need a round of applause. <laughs> so we're practiced today, and uh, don't take this the wrong way. He's itty bitty out there on the field with all the other people. Now that I'm next to him, he's not so small. But you are making plays like you are breaking free. I was like, oh my god! What, what, what is it that's allowing you to be so productive? Uh, just the guys around me. Uh, just my teammates. And everybody just having one goal. They're gonna execute, and I couldn't do it without them. Uh, we just all want to play for each other, and you know, we're a brother, and we're a brotherhood here at Auburn, so we know that each and every player how important it is, and everybody just want to execute and want to see each other shine, so it's just, I couldn't do it without them, my teammates, and obviously Jared being a great uh, quarterback, and him just trusting me, getting the ball in my hands, and me having a guy give me uh, talent just to, you know, show my capabilities once I have the ball in my hands, and I feel like I can do a lot of things. You mentioned uh, great plays. You've been a part of some extraordinary plays right. since you've been here at Auburn. Describe maybe your best moment, your favorite moment. Ryan is going to his senior year, so it's going to be the last year that we get Ryan Davis playing. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that, uh, probably the catch I uh, broke the uh, school record, um, the reception record. Uh, I kind of knew, I already knew how many catches I needed to get up to, <laughs> to that point. And uh, once I caught it, it was a fulfilling moment. That being in the Iron Bowl, and it was a big impactful moment. It was a big play also in the game. And, keep the drive going, so uh, that was one of the, probably my best way. I think that you guys want to take the next step, and that starts right away against Washington, a team that's got a good offense, a lot of pieces back. But question marks on defense, what what do you know about them yet that you're like, we got to try to take advantage of this? Yeah, um, they're definitely a great team. They play well as a collective group. Uh, we know they have a lot of talent. Obviously, they lost uh, some key players, but uh, just seeing them on film, they have a lot of young talent as well. You know, we're going to have to execute them all soon because they're a very great well-rounded team. You know, we can't uh, really slip up too much. You know, we have to play almost I'm sorry, game. there's a fly. I'm trying to pay attention to you right now, but you <laughs> see that fly, right? Yeah, I see. Okay, sorry. Go, keep going. Sorry. Uh, fly, fly, break. Okay, go. Yeah, but definitely a uh, well-rounded team. You know, we have to come and hit on all the changes. Uh, we don't have to execute on all three phases. Better team defense than offensively, but we just know we just don't have to uh, really just execute and not uh, mess up too much. All right, Ryan Davis. So again, he is the leader in receptions here at Auburn. He knew how many he needed to break it. He made the catch, and you're going to see him make plenty more this season. And he's not so small, <laughs> and he's really fast. <laughs> but we wear the same size shoe. <laughs> <laughs> don't embarrass the young man. Don't embarrass the young man. <laughs> Wow, I'm not sure if the video board's big enough. <laughs> Ryan, you ready to see yourself that big up on the screen? Ryan, you ready? <laughs> you ready? Used to it? Run down the field this way, he's gonna be looking at the screen. 
he's gonna be looking up. Yeah. I've seen kids do that because right, yeah. you can see who's behind you, right? There you, you go. Know I swear, when we first got it, I was uh, uh, always told him, don't, don't be looking at the screen, trying to look at it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except for when then you can see like angles, right. like I gotta cut in. Yeah. <laughs> Jumbo yeah. Junior. Oh, this is the video place here too. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mini baby. <laughs> We can do it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. You, got the, you got the pro. You got the pro. I'm a pro, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, sure did. Uh, uh, you got gloves? Yeah, you got gloves. All right. <laughs> Both gloves. Oh, my gosh. I think a good picture would be if they were flexing. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. That would, that would be dope. Oh, these are so cool. This Wait, is awesome. Do you really wear these in the game? Oh. These are the new ones. We haven't worn these ones yet. So no? we're going to wear these uh, first well, oh well, we're taking God. these with us, so you can't wear these, but these you know. Are <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, sticky. Like, Real sticky. Like really sticky. You probably right. see tail with the ball. What's this? Hey, okay. what, what's this sleeve doing? Oh, no, that's just tight. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need Ryan to help me out. I don't, I don't know what's going <laughs> on. Put it on, you going to hold it. Helmet on. Helmet, Helmet on. on. Helmets have yeah, to be on. Right? Yeah, I know. Here. Where's your, where's your phone? So, Y'all need a picture of this on your phone. With, your, with your mine? Yeah. Okay. Here. I need to start, so... Uh, yeah, can you help me? Right. So here's the problem. I, I'm in an Insta, Insta, so you're going to have to save that, and then I don't know how to... Okay. okay. Do these me. loosen up, Ryan? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there it goes with the visor. There we go. Oh, you got a visor. I can barely see. We're coming for you. Are you going to throw it? Go out. Hold on, wait. I'm not. Wait a minute. We got more stuff in here. Oh, oh wristband. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not a wristband. I'm not fancy. Not I want to be like an old school oh, blue collar. Old school, okay. No, I'm blue a wide receiver. She's a wide receiver. She's a wide receiver. That's an Auburn blue collar. Yeah. Blue collar. I'm blue collar here. Blue collar. Did I have my chin okay, strap Oh, yeah, it's right there. I mean, unless you want to type it. Hook me up. Hook me up. Yes. I mean, come on. <laughs> Ryan's got me. Oh, okay. oh, oh. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh! oh. oh. Wow. Yeah. Ryan, I'm ready. Whoa. Okay. 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 You ready? You want to hike it? Ready? Uh oh. He's open. Oh! for her to finally be a wide receiver. She's tall enough. I got you. <laughs> Chest bump, what the you the jump bump? I got you down here. Oh. <laughs> Y'all fucked up. Oh. Do, you. do another one, would you? Can you guys stay? Oh. Yes. Okay. Ryan's going to be the center. I feel like he should oh, be okay. okay. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay. Let's get Ryan in now. Thank you. Thank you. 
This was strong. Thanks like coming, seriously. Girl. Come Thanks on. Thank you. We had a blast. Thanks for being here. We had a blast. And I'll send you the video. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Auburn, way to bring it. So, oh, wow. so, that's, so your shoulder pads will be up here. Oh, nice. And then y'all each have Ryan a little, Cell phone. it's got Cell phone. two USB oh, so you can charge while you're playing. We're talking about the charging. That's right. Yeah. After the game, you got to have people. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. The USB port. Oh. You got the USB port to charge. Well, it's got a little coffee, a little coffee mug. Get a coffee mug for your yeah. water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. Where, the, where did the shoulder pads go? Up here? Up here. Nice. Nice. Yeah. All right. What's, what's this little cubby here? Oh, that's a locker. Yeah, that's a little locker. Can I open it for you? Yeah, can I open it? Show us around your new dick. Oh, nice. What's in there? USB cord, charge phone. USB port? And keep your phone safe, right? Awesome. And they got a lock code. It goes right here. Oh, that's nice. Nice. I love it, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Oh, look at On game day and leading up, your names will all be here on a metal plate. Oh, okay, so they're going to move this part? So this is this will stay, and there's a piece that comes oh, come attached on. to it. I just had to write the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, I got it. All right, let's walk it out. Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> What's that? The shoot, 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 shoot. I do a little bit, a little bit. Are you going to go back and tell all your teammates that we're crazy people? <laughs> Very good. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Thank sure you guys, thank you. We'll talk to you. Bye, Andrew. Thanks yeah. for everything. we got to see the players personalities and it was really awesome and their personalities are completely different from when you show up at Miami or the way the practices are run they look completely different from every single stop and when you're doing two practices in the same day and you're comparing you know morning and an evening practice and okay this is how the assistant coaches coach over here this is where the head coach likes to be in practice this is how they use the horn this is how right. they put up their practice exactly. period. like every place is so unique mm -hmm. like you would think of football practice as a football practice Right. I did not. not find that to be the case. Right. Which is really interesting to see. 
And again, you see it because of the way that the trip was organized back to back to back to back to back. I also think that we'd read a lot of things like, is this guy going to be the starter or this guy or this is a question mark. You go to practice, you figure it out right away. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I answered Wait, a I lot of personal questions in my own mind. Totally agree. Totally figured stuff out. The best part is we're just going to know when we go into the season, but we're not going to tell you. <laughs> we're going to save our best stuff for ourselves. Ah, now you got to watch us. <laughs> okay, so if we're doing the video confessional portion of our reality show, was there anything really annoying? <laughs> about you? Anything. <laughs> to be honest. Well, you know, it's really tough to like be a good driver and have someone in the passenger seat that doesn't believe in you as a driver. You know what I mean? That assumes that you're going to run into any and everything or that you're going to make the wrong turn at all times. So. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> but can I just interrupt? Did, did we have to swerve and nearly kill ourselves today? In, in my total defense. So yes or no, that's a yes or no answer. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, two, did, okay. did we get lost for a little bit yesterday? Yes. Did we drive 800 miles? And I'm grateful. And I'm not only criticizing swerve twice you. Yeah, and only get nearly lost died once. twice yeah. and get lost once. I think those are excellent and I, odds yes. and I appreciate yes. you greatly. Mm -hmm. Greatly. Don't get me wrong. Right. It's just the near death that bothered me. Yeah. That's all. We're like batting 750 right now. That's how I feel from a driver's perspective. Okay. What else you got? What <laughs> other other pet peeves? Let it out. Let it go. What What do you got? Have you ever been around someone who, <laughs> when you say that you've organized, like, hey, trust me, you know, we've got the production team at Florida State. They're gonna roll with us. It's gonna be great. But they still want to show up with their mic in their iPad and pretend like they're gonna shoot something that's better than the actual production team at the university. You're right, I'm gonna give you this one. I was annoying about that. <laughs> I got you. Um, yes, so, hi okay, let's get it in order. <laughs> and that's... We're number 675. <laughs>